Kamusta na mga kaadik? I received some comments and queries asking about how much I spent for upgrading my Fido Q1S. This is a single motor upgrade. I know this is not the best upgrade and there are other electric scooter a lot more better, good looking and even faster than this one. I think making this video will help you figure out how much budget or money you may need for upgrading your electric scooter, whether you have seated electric or standing electric scooter. This is a Fido Q1S. It's a second-hand unit. I got this for about 1,300 dirhams. That's the item, mga uh, It's 1,300 dirhams. Second-hand, almost all stock. It was slightly modified, they changed the handlebar, they installed thumb throttle with voltage display, and also used a stem riser and a bike stem. They even put new foot pegs clamp on the rear swing arm. The controller, hub motor, and the battery remained the same. Stock 36 volts. For the Vido stock setup, you will get 20 to 25 km per hour top speed, depending on the rider's weight and the terrain. If you check the price of the Fido Q1 and Q1S on the internet, you will see the prices are between 1,900 dirhams to 2,200 dirhams. These are the prices you will find on the website here in the UAE. Now let's jump into the main upgrade. From 36 volts, I upgraded this Fido Q1S to 72 volts. I changed the 36 volts to 50 watts stock hub motor with a bigger rating. 60 volts to 72 volts, 4,500 watts LD hub motor. The new hub motor cost 850 dirhams. For the controller, I installed a 50 amp YYK controller with a Bluetooth module. The controller cost 350 dirhams. Then. Powered by a massive 72 volts 37 AH generic battery pack. The battery costs 2,100 dirhams. Next are the other changes I made. I installed a Pro Taper handlebar which I think looks good on the Fido Q1S. I used BMX pack stem perfect for the handlebar diameter. Ordinary handle grips. Then I installed motorcycle switch for the headlight, tail light, signal light, and the horn. A tiny phone holder. There is the three speed switch so I can play around with the speed. I installed hell horn. I find it really loud but has to be installed with the relay. <laughs> Five inch headlight, which is super bright. Dilimo. Motorcycle tail light. Controller storage bag. Circuit breaker for protecting the components from overload, overcurrent, or short circuit. I also use 10 gauge silicon wire for extending the battery output towards the controller. Acrylic board to cover the huge battery pack. Reusable strap for fastening the acrylic board on the frame. Aluminum foot pegs. Aluminum grab bar. I also installed 12 volts output DC to DC step down converter on the stock 36 volts battery pack to supply power for the lights and the horn. And a voltage meter display to be able to monitor the stock 36 volts battery pack for the accessories. I also use connectors, hitch rings, fuses, relay, and zip ties. The key ignition switch with the throttle and voltage display and the stem riser were already installed when I got this unit from the seller. Take note, prices may vary depending on the seller's strategy. Normally, price differ based on the quality. For example, branded or generic batteries, voltage rating if it's 36 volts, 48 volts, 60 volts, 72 volts, and so on. Don't forget to consider the capacity of the battery as well. 20 amp hour, 30 amp hour, 40 amp hour, and so on. As this will affect the price too. When it comes to the controller and the motor, usually the voltage and the wattage rating affects the price. Also consider if it's branded or unbranded controller and motor. 
Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to support my channel by liking, commenting, and sharing all my videos. At syempre, maraming maraming salamat. Muli kayong naligaw sa channel ko. Ride safe lang palagi, mga ka-addict. Si Idol, oh! Ayun, 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 ayun,